Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, go the updates. Really excited for today's video. Beer's courtesy of Ross. Thank you so much, Ross. I really appreciate it. It's another one of the uh, uh, Revolution Death Star, Death Star, um, in their Deep Woods series. And uh, this is Maple, again, Death or Death. Uh, Imperial style aged with maple syrup bourbon barrels. And they're partnering, partnering with Chicago Maple. This is 12.8% ABV, Imperial style aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels, and it's hyphenated. Uh, so brought to you with our friends at Chicago Maple, this comforting sipper spent time resting in freshly emptied maple syrup bourbon barrels. So bourbon, maple syrup, this beer for the visual learners. Uh, then we sweeten the beer with the same bourbon barrel-aged maple syrup to produce waves of American oak, spirit, and maple working harmoniously to, to deliver an experience as approachable as it is satisfying. Enjoy now or store cold. Um, anytime I have a beer with maple, I have to, I'm contractually obligated to mention that when I was growing up, I used to help my great-grandfather make maple syrup. I'm a huge fan of maple syrup. And, uh... You know, makes me really excited for this. Cool can art, as always, on these. And it's got, like, maple syrup dripping at the Canadian flag and stuff, which is rad. Or, like, well, it's not quite the Canadian flag, but it's a white flag with the maple leaf. Doesn't have the red on the sides. Anyway, let's just get into the beer. I'm so excited for this. So... It's pretty darn black. There's a little bit of brown I was pouring it out, but I mean, it's a definitely a dark looking beer. Almost exactly a finger of like spot on mocha colored head. Small ball, like teeny tiny small and then regular small. They're breaking up relatively quickly. <sighs> that lacing does not want to stick around. Holy cow. Not much of legs either. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it'd have, you know, given the double digit ABV. But yeah, definitely looks like a bigger stout. Let's get into the aroma. You do get a nice, soft vanilla and oak, so you definitely get the barrel that way. There's some, some baker's chocolate fighting through. For people who are watching this, like, what about the maple? Yeah, there's a little bit of maple. It's not a punch in your face. Um, I think, you know, you add that maple... A lot of it's going to get fermented, right? So, like, yeah, there might be some residual. But then you also have the maple uh, syrup bourbon barrels. So, like, I think in the taste, I'll probably get more maple than I'm getting the aroma. At least I hope so. But there is a little bit there. That roastiness is nice. It does not approach coffee level. Like, it's definitely stout roastiness. But you do kind of see how that is giving those chocolate notes off, but not going, like, full coffee. Yeah, that, that, those first two things I mentioned, though, that, that nice, soft vanilla and that soft oak, are, it's just beautiful in this beer. There, there is sweetness, but it's not cloyingly sweet. It's not quite desserty, but there is a nice level of sweetness. It, it does. It smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Ross. That's divine. You do get way more maple in the taste than I got in the aroma. It's that, if, you're, if you've ever had maple syrup candy, right, like the sugar, right, those sugar candies, it's kind of like you took their base, and I guess this makes a lot of sense, put one of those candies in it and just let it dissolve. You get some of that chocolate, you get some of that roast, just like I got in the aroma. You get some of the nice bourbon, you get some of that vanilla, a little bit of the oak, uh, you know, the oak tannins specifically. But then you just get that awesome, and throughout it, just get that awesome amount of, of you know, the, the maple syrup sugars. It's not quite, like, sticky on my palate, but, you know, it is there throughout. It is a, a lovely sweetness, and again, kind of like the aroma... It's not cloyingly sweet, though. This is special. I 
And yeah, that bourbon plays nice with the maple. And, and I'm a, as much as I love regular maple syrup, I am a sucker for bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. And I, I do think it brings out a, a lovely vanilla character. So I'm so glad that that's happening with this beer. Little bit of alcohol warmth. Not too much on my palate. It's more like right here in my chest. I mean, yeah, it's phenomenal. I, I you know, I'm trying to like think of other things. I, I'm basically described everything I'm tasting. It's all working beautifully. It, it's harmonious while uh, allowing certain aspects of the beer to shine, which is pretty rare. Like to me, it's usually like you know peaks of flavors, or it, it, you know it seems to be cohesive and, and well rounded. This is like miraculously doing both of those things. It, it, it's just it's phenomenal. Yeah, I love the maple in this. I love it so much. I don't want to compare it to Goose Island's special number four, which was a coffee stout. It was delicious. Love the coffee in there. I didn't get a lot of the maple syrup. I'm so happy this is delivering on the promise of maple syrup. I love this beer. I can't say enough nice things about it. I wish I had a big stack of pancakes right now. Thanks again, Ross. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no high beer reviews about those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.